Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, wherever you are in the world. Hi, it's Alex here. Just want to th uh, tell you guys, thank you guys all for you guys' warm prayers and thoughtful wishes and all. It means a lot to me. It really does. It really does, guys. Today, I just want to thank God, too, for giving me one of these good days. Because I know some of you guys who know that when you guys have a... Uh, dealing with this kind of stuff, you... We have good days and we have bad days. Well, I'm grateful that today's one of my beautiful days that I'm able to do something. Sorry, I haven't been making videos either. Is that uh, my little girl just barely finished school today? It was her last day, and I've been trying to stay with her. You know, with her her functions in the last day of school because she asked me to. Not only that, she asked she asked me in a nice way if I could stop making videos for a while so I could spend time with her. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I got a couple photographs I have to share with you guys. Um, I think it's like over 20 photographs, I think, or a little bit more. I want to share with you guys. I received this today from a subscriber of mine that when they were uh, looking through um, webcams in Mexico. They wanted to know to see if this was an object. Well, looking upon the video more and more, I mean the photographs more and more, I, you know, you actually take a look at it. You see craters and everything on this. And then when you take a look at it more, when it goes in, this is a lens, okay? You can get really look at this is a crater right here. This is right here is an object, okay? This is an actual object. This is what we're seeing in the FFA webcams. Okay, that's what's following the Sun FFA webcams. But this is a lens, just so the guys let you guys know. Remember the distinctive line is always the lens right here when you see this. Okay? That's a lens. I just want to let you guys know that's a lens. Here it is again. Remember, distinctive line always is gonna be that that line right there. I got other photographs to show you guys right here too, like this one right here too. See? Distinctive line. Lens. Right here too. Distinctive line. It's right there again. You can barely make it out. Distinctive line. See? Do a little brightness and contrast. You make it out. Distinctive line. Then I want to give a shout out to uh, Sal here in Fresno, right here where we're both at. He's been capturing this purple object. I'm being honest, guys. It's a purple object. Let me blow it up for you guys so you guys can see. This is a purple object right here. It looks like it has some moons or objects with it. I, uh, an object with it. I got another photograph right here, and more a little bit better, better photograph. You could take a look at it. He's been capturing this object for a while now, for like I think four days in a row already. He caught it. This, these photographs right here that I'm showing right now are the first two days that I think the first uh, yeah the first day he caught it and then the next one I have right now I believe is the, the second second day yeah here's the second day again you can see it actually has like two objects right here's one and another one and here's the other object that whatever it is whatever it is this was taken right there on the south during almost during the daytime and here it is again blowing up as you can see object object right here I don't know what it is guys it could be an it could be a planet it could be a it could be an asteroid. It could be a a meteor just coming by, coming in. I don't know. Don't know. I don't want to put it out there. That it's a planet. And then later on, someone tell me, oh, it's not. You know, I'm not going to put it out there. I'm just going to say it. it's a space object. It's a celestial object. Then he got it right here again. So there's days that we get our our skies right here, guys. Gray. I mean, gray. And but he caught it right here again. That's not the moon. Just to let you guys know, he caught it right here again. It's right there. He's been capturing this stuff for a while. Want to give a shout out, so man, love you, guy. We have we. I consider him family. We have conversations. We talk. And then here it is. I've been. Getting, I got this photograph today. I got this photograph today from um, somebody telling me that this was our sun right here. That this was actually our sun, but this was an object right here that was protruding out of the sky, out of the clouds. And you know they did. They uh, circled it for me. See, said this was our sun right here. They wanted me to know what the heck was that. To tell you the truth, that's what I want to know. But it looks like a celestial object. As I said, I'm not putting a planet, celestial object, because a spaceship is actually out of space, so it's a celestial object. Let's move on. Then I took this myself. This was uh, on the south. Like I said, things are starting to show up on the south now. Pay attention to the south, guys, please. Uh, this was yesterday. This was taken on the south. This was on the webcam. You can see this is not our moon or sun. Not our moon or sun. Okay. You, did a, you do your little brightness and contrast on this stuff. I am going to give a shout out to Valma. Valma's fast. Let me tell you. I give her a photograph. She gives me back this exact, you know, the photograph to sit almost the same way. But, you know, when she does her brightness and contrast. She doesn't give me one in the collage. She gives me this one. 
Actually, if I give her one, she gives me back, and she did it again. So, guys, I'll let you know that's an object. It's dark. Heat. Actually, it looks like there's another object right here, too. Heat. Heat. Has heat, guys. And here it is again. It's heat. It's an object. And then uh, I got this from um, Teresa Caldwell, aka Arizona Skywatcher. She got this from one of her friends. Uh, she told me that it was an object right here, way up in the sky. I didn't know what the heck she was talking about, but yeah, you can see it right here. There's a black object. There's like an object, like a black star. That's what I call the black star. I was like, I kept telling her, there's your black star, because she has a, a Facebook uh, page, and I told her, there's your black star. She started laughing. But let me show you how it looks, the way she cropped it. The way she cropped it, that's the way it looks. I don't know what that is, guys. <laughs> you guys tell me. Celestial object, I suppose. Let's move on. Got this from Canada. You've been seeing this purple object right here. Like I said, purple object. Does it bring about Sal? Hmm, I think it does. Uh, and then right here again, getting all bigger and all that. Oh, look at that. And then, was this, this next photograph is going to blow your mind. Then you have this object right here, like I said. What is that? And then what is this? This is your actual, your uh, Fresno lens, your football. The one that looks like a football that has all those little lines on the side. I see this all the time, guys. I see a channel called this a freaking f a, a shoe. It's not a shoe. It's a lens. But I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to ridicule any other channel. I'm not gonna, that's not what we're all about. We need to get together. We all need to stick together. We all need to be right here unite because that's all we have is one another. Sometimes some channels don't know what they're doing or saying. But, you know, we, uh, we have to, you know, forgive them and pray for them. And, you know, hopefully they do see what they are posting. Sometimes it's like, oh, you know what? A lot of channels are actually seeing this, starting to see what this is. And... If you start seeing that a channel is not catching on like that, you know, and that means that they're out, I guess, um, lost. That's why still we have to pray for them. I'm not here to ridicule any channel. I'm just here to relay their message. Let's move on, guys. This one's going to blow you guys' mind. What is that? Whoa. What is that? I was shocked when I received this today. And I was like, whoa, and it was right here again where it's starting to show up. It kind of looks like the wing object, you know what I mean? Little object right here with a wing, you know? That's what I thought it was. And the first time when I saw that, I was like, whoa. Then I seen it again in another photograph right here. I was like, oh, no, this is actual something up there, guys, you know? Come on. Look at this. Oh, shoot. Oh, lordy. Then we got an object right here that someone said there was a planet. I don't know, kind of just like, um, not, uh, I don't want to pronounce her name right, but Nadia, N Nadia, uh, she calls this her, um, zebra planet, and, uh, someone already kind of, you know, said it as a planet, they they did this, I didn't, I'm just giving it to you guys, I'm just giving, showing you what my subscribers sent to me, okay, and then what I want to show you guys here, we got two different light sources, you got a red, and you got a light, white right here, two different light sources, can't have that guys, can't have that, here you go again, two different light sources, then you go again, light source up there, light source up here guys, what's going on, you guys, you guys answer me, talk to me, speak to me, I need to know, and you got it right here again, you have the light source up there, up there, see, light source up here, light source up there, can't have it that way guys, can't, then I had this subscriber send me this telling me that there was an object right here. I do believe him because you can actually see the object move. See, look, it's moving. See, it's right here. You blow it up. It looks like there's an object right here. He said he took this right here in the south. So there's objects right there in the south right now. Then you move it in again. Look, at, it looks like it has a hole right here. Take a look at it. Just roll it back one more time so you can see. Look right there. Then he rolls back again. Look, it looks like it has that big hole right here. Look at that. Jeez, what is that? I don't know, but there's something out there, guys. Something out there. And we're back here again. I don't know more or less, guys. Excuse me, guys. I don't know more or less what evidence. The reason why, like I said, too, I haven't put up uh, photographs and everything. And I mean, videos and all that, too. Is uh, I've been trying to put photographs that are actually something to be up there. Because I've been seeing a lot of channels up there post um, like lenses and stuff. And I'm like, whoa, I'm at oh, I'm at all. Like, wow. You know, I understand we all got to stick together and we all got to help each other out. But if you see, if you help a channel out and tell a channel over and over, and you have more than one person telling this channel, or this other channels, not just this one channel, but other channels that you know what we're seeing in the sky is not what it really is. You know, you have other channels such as myself, 
Jeff P, Steve Olson stating, you know, what we're seeing, what what we're what we see is uh, lens arrays, what people are calling planets, lenses, and I just sometimes I just want to give up on that because it's like wow, everybody's just I guess what it is to me, everyone just wants to see a planet. They want to believe that the planet's there. So if someone says a lens is a planet. Oh yeah, it's a planet. But I don't know. I don't know anymore. I just I'm at all sometimes. But till then, guys, take care of each other. I love every one of you guys. You know, I'm gonna be continue praying for every single one of you. I want to thank every single one of you guys. I want to bless every single one of you guys if I can. I just want to thank every single one of you guys. And like I said, I'm just glad I have one of these great days that I'm having right now. Till then, guys, I love every single one of you guys. God bless you guys. You know, your prayers, wishes, thoughtful, kind words, comments. All you guys uh, just touch me. I mean it. It touched me. I don't want to choke myself up here, but it touched me, guys. I love every one of you guys. Till then, guys, take care. God bless.